Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Redneck Ways. How y'all doing today? I hope everybody said just fine and dandy. Well, today, um, my boss's son, he uh, brought down a few things. He's He's got a lawn care business. He's staying really busy. He usually works on stuff like this, but he don't have time. So he wants me to help him, and we're going to go through, try to get some of these road finds running. Um, get them running, get the oil changed, and um, we're going to, uh, if they sell, you know, half the profit. So pretty good deal. This old, I've used this. I helped him a few times on his uh, landscaping. We used this. It's a little pollen. It runs really good. It did. It's uh, the carburetor. It's uh, as soon as you put, push the throttle, it wants to die right now. So hopefully get that running good. Them little carburetors always give me problems when I work on them. They're really, really aggravating. But um, let's see. This one here, this power, this pressure washer is a professional Briggs and Stratton. Um, Eight and a eight point seven five horsepower, one hundred ninety cc. Looks pretty clean. Uh, the hoses are here. Um, I don't know what kind of tip. Usually the green tip's always gone. I don't. I don't think this has any of the tips. And let's go over to this one. This one here is a Honda. This is a Honda Easy Start says overhead cam um, GCV 160 CC. It's a Honda. It's he said it was full of soap. So yeah, it, it is. <laughs> and this one has quite a bit of oil around the base. So I don't know about this one. You know, it may have a cracked block or something. So, and this one here appears to not have any of the little tips. I mean, where's the hose? Or where's the... Oh, here it is. Oh. It looks like it's got one that's broke. I don't know. It's odd. And then we have this, uh, as Terrell would call, breaks and scrap them. MTD 20 inch cutting width. Um, it's one and a half or 125 cc. She's plumb full of gas and it don't look good. Look at that. Let's see what that smells like. Look at brown, don't it? Huh. But uh, we're going to tinker around with these guys, see what they, what happens, and see if we get these running. Get uh, hopefully get them running. Get the oil changed. We're putting uh, S. Well, if I hold on to STP um, 10W30, that's what we're going to change the oil with. So grab you a, a snack and a cold beverage and sit back and take it easy. Well, I sweat. It's going to be probably about 100 degrees today. Um, it's right now about 9.30 in the morning. And we're looking at, what is that, about 87, 85, 87 degrees already. So, all right, guys, let me get the thing situated and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've got a little work to do before I get started tinkering on that. Y'all probably wondering anyway, he's like, does he do anything at work? But yeah, well, I do. Unfortunately, we got one, two, three, three pallets. I gotta get put up. We just sewed two ton of this just uh, a little while ago. Game chicken. That's our biggest seller. But uh, we're pretty much caught up on the rest of our feed. That's our scratch, scratch grain here. That's our cheaper chicken feed. And then our horse feed, we're pretty caught up. We don't sell a lot of that in the summertime. The horses eat grass, so 
do got to get some more corn on the floor. It's deer season. But anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in here, guys. You know, for the ones probably thinking, or maybe thinking, if I do anything here at work. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, I do. So I'll get them pallets put up, and then we'll start on one of these bad boys. All righty, guys. Got all those pallets put up. So now we can get to this. So, first things first, and let's, um, I want to take this old gas out. So, I need to get something to prop you guys up on. Let me see here. Which I don't know what that would be at this moment. <clears throat> Hold on one second, guys. Okay, I think that'll work. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. That might work. All right. So I wish you have to do anything about a tripod. All right, let's see what this gas cleaner looks like. And it looks brown from that angle. Thank you. It's red. What kind of gas is that? Get in this cup. Look how red that is. Y'all see that? I don't know if you can tell the color. It's got a red tint to it. Let me go find a jug. Second. All right, guys. I put that bad gas up. Put a little oil dry down here. I spilled a bit. Now, this is good gas here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in. Just a shade. Well, I still got. I think there's still a little bit in there. Let me check. That gas just don't look right. It smells it's real strong. The smell is. It's almost like sunburn. Put an additive in it. Oh gosh. I wasn't going to make it all that mess. That's all right. We'll just get some more absorbent. going to try to, we'll go through these and try to start them, see what they're doing. And then we'll get an idea if they don't run, what's going on. Filter looks pretty dirty. Pretty nasty. Now, these type of carburetors, that they don't actually pull gas through from the gas tank. They kind of blow air over the carburetor. And somehow it pulls the gas through that way. But there, um, it doesn't go through the ball, the prime. You're just shooting air. So. Uh, also, I thought it was pretty cool on this one. You just got these little wing nuts. You could take off here and take this off. Or just put it back on. That's pretty neat. Haven't seen one like that before. Ever. So, all right, let's put a little bit of gasoline in. Fresh gas. And we'll see if it'll leak off. Enough to start it. We'll leave the breather off. 
for a minute. We'll prime it and then see what that is. Ain't fluff, goes to our cat. So let's pull the plug on it, see what the plug looks like. See if we get I mean it looks sounds like we're getting fire. Alrighty, let's see. Let's find that plug here. You guys can see the front of it maybe, yeah. Here's what the plug looks like. It don't look that bad. There's a little arc there, a little white. But there's no really carbon buildup. No oil. Let me see if it's going fire. It's got a Briggs Stratton. Let's 
spray. Carb spray in there. Not carb spray, but some starch fluid. That should be enough. Got so many threads, my lord. All right, that's back in. So we know we're getting fire. Snail, a snail shell came out of the carburetor. Could that be the problem? Could uh, Jerry be in there? Or Gary, Gary the snail? Gary. This thing's aggravating. Definitely gonna have to find one. Fit this before we sell it. All right, guys, let's see if it works. Sometimes they take off. Sometimes they don't. Next one in line is this Honda. Um, don't know what year it is. So first thing I want to do with this one is get that soap out of there. So I need to find something to dump that in. So give me a second. Let me grab a bucket. All right. Let's get this soap out of this thing. Good. 
that's so that's the weirdest show. Let me try it again. It's so full of it. So much soap now. But what we got this up here, we can uh, kind of look at here and see the oil. See how oily it is all around here. So I don't know what that's all about. Should be drained by now. All right, guys, I'm back. Kind of noisy. Next door neighbors, other pressure washing. I got the fan on, so I hope y'all can hear it good. We got all the soap out of this. One, so let's get it back. I made a mess on that. All the soaps out of it. We got more oil coming out of the exhaust. That is not a good sign. Okay, maybe that you guys will. I got this. Yeah. Not good, not good at all. Yeah, this one's got bad movie. This mold dry down. Plus the soap. Whatever that was. Nasty business. Let's see if we take this breather here off. Oh, it's just horrible. It's either oil or it's soap, but I think it's oil. Which means the valves are pretty bad, probably bad. It's an older Honda. She's got gas. It's got full tank gas. I got her choked. It'll probably smoke like crazy if she fires up. And this is a Honda engine. She may be locked up.
like a banshee. But that could be where I had it turned upside down too. So let me go kick that exhaust fan on down here. Woo. I kind of figured the Honda, the Honda would have started. It started. So. We'll put it aside. We'll let all the oil and everything. See how that's just pouring out of this intake, out of the filter? There's something definitely wrong, ain't there? Hopefully it's because I had it upside down getting that soap out of it. So let's put this one aside. I took the soap out of the other one, it just looked really funny, and I wasn't for sure if it's oil. I think it did have oil in it. That whole, that whole Honda engine there looked oily. Something going on. But all right, we have it on. It has gas. I guess it's all she needs. So let's see what this one does. I'm surprised it started that easy. We'll see if it dies or something. That's what they said. It was running and it died.
for a second. I'm in a well vented area. Let's see if it'll start back. All right, guys, I don't know about this one. Other than that air filter was just dirty and clogged. Could be. So, I need to leave that out. So I can clean it. Alrighty. Alright guys, that uh, kind of does it. Um, I'm going to change some oil on this one. I'll, I'll hook it up to uh, the water hose outside. And uh, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll take it out and get it hooked up. And then we'll film it and see what it does under pressure. So I'll be back. All right, we got the water hose hooked up. Everything's going through, so let's see what she does under pressure. That's not good. Sometimes that's what they do. They don't. They don't want to run under pressure. Let me see what she's doing guys okay guys you seen what that was doing the motor runs fine until you put water put pressure on that motor <laughs> excuse me and uh, then it wants to die I think probably the bearings are bad in that pump so I have to get with the, my partner on this deal and see if he wants to order a new pump for that and that one I'll test tomorrow like I said, I had it upside down. I'm not for sure if that oil came out when I did that or what. So we'll let that settle. It kind of looked like it was the smoke was settling on it. It wasn't smoking as bad there at the end, so it may be all right. But it may be the same way. You put it under pressure, and it, it'll kill it. Who knows? I got you still check that one out on that. The lawnmower tomorrow, I'll bring some uh, carburetor cleaner. And I'll take that carburetor and I'll clean it real good, put it on, see what it does. If that don't help, we'll have to buy a new carburetor for that one. And then that just leaves me with his, uh, his, uh, um, tree saw here. Oh, post saw. And, uh, I'm going to work on that after I get everything else done because, like I said, those little carburetors, they're tricky sometimes, so. I'll probably have to end up ordering a new carburetor for this one. So guys, I hope you all got some kind of enjoyment out of this old video. And I hope you all are sitting by side a pool and staying cool or inside a nice air-conditioned home. Hope you're all just comfortable and not sweating like I am right now. Because I'm miserable and I'm getting ready to go sit in front of a fan. So, alright guys. Oh, there are my fingers in the way. Until next time, guys, I'll see you right here at Redneck Ways. Bye, guys.